America is living in a nightmare. A devastating pandemic, an economy in tatters, a culture lost and adrift. Guess what, mother And overseeing it all, a president who threatens to tear the country apart at its seams. Our nation cries out for a great man of history to lead us out of the darkness. But since we don't have one, let's go with this guy. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the goal, you know the, you know the thing. Joe Biden, acceptable under the circumstances. Joe Biden was born in 1942 in Pennsylvania, a state in America. Then his family moved to Delaware, another state in America. It's not the most exciting story for a president, but you know what it is? Constitutionally sufficient. After a childhood doing whatever you do in Delaware, Joe went on to attend the University of Delaware and the Syracuse University School of Law, two schools that are near the top of their states geographically. No, they weren't Harvard, but they were fine. I mean, he's gonna be able to read an intelligence briefing. And armed with this perfectly adequate education, Joe Biden was elected to the United States Senate in 1972 where he spent the next 36 years building a perfectly adequate record. Some good stuff, some bad stuff. Overall, a solid B minus. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have worked with segregationists to oppose busing. Kamala was right. That was a big mistake. It was hurtful. But you know who got over it? Kamala! So if she's cool with it, what's your problem? And besides, you know what mistake he didn't make? Partying with Jeffrey Epstein at Mar-a-Lago. So let's not overthink this one, okay? The point is, throughout his political career, Joe Biden never went off the rails. In fact, this guy loves rails. And I'm the biggest railroad guy you ever known. He's known as Amtrak Joe. He's Amtrak Joe. Amtrak Joe. Biden has made more than 7,900 round trips to Washington, D.C. Yes, Amtrak Joe loves his choo-choos. Now, is it the most normal thing for an adult man to think trains are that cool? Not really. But so what? The guy wants more trains. It's not like he wants to nuke hurricanes. He's not out here trying to buy Greenland, for Christ's sakes. We can live with trains. Throughout his career in public service, Joe Biden served the people with honor, integrity, and sometimes free massages. Seriously, his biggest scandal was plagiarizing part of a speech once. Can you imagine that even being a scandal today? I'd kill for a scandal like that today. At least with plagiarism, you know the guy can read. But Joe Biden's greatest achievements were to come not as a senator, but as the 47th Vice President of the United States, where he served alongside... Barack Obama! That's right. Your favorite president, the savior of the economy, the hero of healthcare, Nobel Peace Prize winner, and, oh yeah, murderer of Osama bin Laden. That Barack Obama. Obama. Joe spent eight years as President Obama's trusted white hand man, working so closely with him that soon, even Biden couldn't tell where he ended and Obama began. An old Biden Obama Democrat. <laughs> Yes, so Biden's time as vice president has undoubtedly prepared him for the presidency's most fundamental task, knowing which building the White House is. And once Joe is inside that White House, he will lead America forward with a bold, progressive agenda. Joe Biden, who has told his big donors that, quote, nothing will fundamentally change if he's elected. Americans aren't looking for revolution. No, I don't support defunding the police. Against Medicare for all. It is totally unrealistic. Elizabeth Warren says she's going to propose a wealth tax. <laughs> right, fine, not bold. Boldish or something. But what matters is it's not insane. And considering the shitstorm we're in right now, we'll take it. I haven't been outside in six months. <sighs> Look, here's the thing. Joe Biden isn't as inspiring as Obama. He doesn't have the fearless vision of FDR or the rhetorical gift of John F. Kennedy. My name is Joe Biden and I love ice cream. <laughs> but what Joe is and what he has always been and what he will be as your next president is not Donald Trump. Person, woman, man, camera, TV. 
So come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on. And that's what makes Joe Biden acceptable under the circumstances. Come on, man.